The main reason I started Wi-Fi shielding is because it's blatantly obvious that radiation levels from modern devices, technology, are the most damaging aspects of our current lifestyle. If I was able to go off to Siberia, live in the forest with some Russian girl, I would have been there yesterday, but someone with integrity has to hang around. Uh, before we get started, if you could please subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And because of that, definitely sign up for the newsletter at frank-stefano.com to stay in touch. Most other EMF Wi-Fi protection companies are incredibly overpriced, unaffordable to the average income. What's even crazier is how many fake products are out there that don't work whatsoever, giving people the illusion they can put a piece of plastic on their phone, wear a pendant around their neck to protect themselves from radiation being emitted from various devices. And I think something has to be said about Wi-Fi Shielding HQ, AKA my parents' garage, and these other companies probably have elaborate corporate offices, multiple employees, full executive board, who knows? If they're able to make that much money selling those products, and ripping people off. Look at what they spend it on. So a good analogy for radiation that I've made in the past is think of whatever device, router, cell phone, Netflix, Alexa, Google Home, as a source of light. There are three ways to eliminate a light source, AKA remove it from your field of vision, make it dark. Turn it off if you can. Two, cover it up with something or three, cover yourself up with something. And you could also distance yourself from it, but there are obvious discrepancies between the sun and a flashlight. Different devices have different levels of radiation, and you also need a specific material to block it. And keep in mind, all of this stuff can be tested with an EMF meter, but people generally don't have the knowledge, and in some cases, the expenses to purchase one. So these companies are taking advantage of people's lack of knowledge of EMF as opposed to educating them and letting them make a decision on what products or what they need to shield themselves or protect themselves. First, we'll touch on shungite. Shungite is a rare black stone made of up to 99% carbon. It's mainly found in Shunga, a village in Karelia, Russia. It has a unique composition and there is actually a really popular meme emerging from a video game streamer some months back. I bought a whole bunch of shungite rocks. Do you know what shungite is? Anybody know what shungite is? No, not shugnite. I think he's locked up in prison. Talking shungite. Anyways, it's a two billion year old like rock stone that protects against frequencies and unwanted frequencies that may be traveling in the air. That's my story. I bought a whole bunch of stuff, put them around the La Casa, little pyramids, stuff like that. Now those three principles apply here. If you encase yourself or the source of radiation in shungite, like a giant block, I don't know if carbon blocks or absorbs radio frequencies. I know metal does. Even if you ate the shungite, there might be some minerals in it that will help your body's detox pathways, but putting a shungite pyramid or rock next to a Wi-Fi router or around your neck is akin to putting a glass of water next to a fire. It's not going to put the fire out. Now, there's certainly different degrees of scamming, you know, correlated to the monetary value of the product. At the low end, you have these 30, 40, 50 dollar stickers that do nothing, you know, which is a great profit margin on a sticker. And I do have to commend companies like Q-Link for selling a tiny rock on a string for a hundred bucks. I guess if you pay enough slimy pieces of shit to talk positively about your product, you can convince people to buy it. There's a lot of that going around lately. And these EMF Wi-Fi businesses tend to be owned by people in the club that are working together to deceive the masses. You know, a little more bang for your buck, want to spend $300, you can get a device that fries your brain. It's almost like they're messing with people. Not only are they ripping you off, they're actually selling you something that emits even more radiation, just making things up because of the lack of education and knowledge 
about energy that the average person has. The craziest part to me is that none of these companies ever prove their devices do anything using a meter, especially the ones selling devices for thousands and thousands of dollars, Blue Shield, Soma Vedic, Synerge Science. You know, it's one thing for these scummy companies to rip you off for 30, 40 bucks, but when you get to six, 7,000, I feel bad for the people that bought that stuff. Uh, my real question is, why are there so many fake scam companies compared to legitimate ones? I mean, you can make money selling products that work, granted the margin isn't nearly as high, and I think the bigger picture is these people simply don't want you healthy. You know, they want to sell you something that you think works, not something that actually works. You know, the understanding of energy frequencies on our planet is closely guarded by the elite people. It's a secret. They would rather keep that secret to themselves than make a small amount of money selling you, you know, a silver shirt, especially compared to business ventures that require the use of devices that emit radiation. You know, imagine how the world would be. Everyone would be living like the Amish. You know, if people thought a cell phone was dangerous, basically every online business would suffer. So I did show you guys how shielding clothing works in a video we did a couple months back, but I do have a few new products on Wi-Fi shielding, so let's take a quick look at those. So right now we still have most sizes of the clothing. We have the hats, masks, hoods, head covers, and bandanas. I'm trying to get some bed canopies back for you guys, but what's newly in stock are uh, grounding heel straps uh, that you could put on your shoes to ground outside so you don't need like moccasins or something. I do have these low EMF earbuds that you can use plugging into your computer or talking on your phone. And I also have various adapters and plugs. So this is an ethernet plug that you can use to put your phone into your router. And I also have a, a headphone jack adapter for this for the iPhone. So you guys can check that stuff out on wifishielding.com. And if you do want something we are missing, I should have it within three to four weeks. So thank you guys for joining me today. I really don't know how long this Wi-Fi shielding stuff is gonna last. You know, I start all these businesses hoping they're gonna grow and expand because you know, I start with such a low profit margin and I just wanna get people quality product under the assumption that I can grow and get the materials for cheaper in bulk and that never typically happens, which is why I'm still staying with my parents. But as long as I can uh, help people become healthy and happy. Eventually, everything is going to pan out. So you guys can see all of my other businesses on frank-stefano.com. And I will see you guys for tomorrow's video.